welcome if you're new here. My name is Arita and today I wanted to share a few of my tips on how to get out of a slump. I have been feeling this Mercury retrograde quite a lot, okay? I have been speaking about it for the past couple of weeks with my friends and I honestly have been stressed, anxious, just kind of overwhelmed over the past couple of weeks and I felt myself getting into a little bit of a rut. So I thought, I need to do my five step routine to get out of this little slum and I thought what better way to do it than to share it with you also. This month is actually stress awareness month so I feel like this video is very fitting. I am just going to add a little disclaimer as well. If you are struggling with anxiety, stress or other mental health issues then I highly highly recommend speaking to a professional. I am in no capacity a professional, psychologist, psychiatrist or therapist and these are just a few simple steps that I like to take whenever I'm feeling a little bit down and hopefully they can help as well. Let's start with the question of how did I actually get here. I feel like the first step of trying to get out of a slump is figuring out the source of it. This literally could be so many things but for example you could maybe lose your job or go through a really really stressful situation, you can go through a breakup or it could kind of be self-inflicted and you can work yourself way too hard and then reach burnout. Now let's discuss why I feel I'm in a slump right now. This is almost like a little life update but I'll try and keep it really short. Basically I moved down to London six months ago and I felt like I was on top of the world. Basically moved out of Edinburgh which I've been wanting to do for years. I found an amazing job, a very very niche and specific job that I've literally said I wanted to do again for years but I was like how am I gonna find this job? I don't even think it's a job and then suddenly I found it. It was perfect. Literally perfect. Everything was aligning and then suddenly, suddenly the reality of redundancies basically hit me hard and you know every company goes through this, it's completely normal but at the speed that it was happening it was very very stressful for me and I was seeing it all around me but at that point it hadn't affected me yet so I was just really grateful and fortunate that I hadn't but that didn't mean I wasn't worried or stressed. And then obviously whatever is on your forefront on your mind is going to materialize itself. So I was obviously worried about my position getting cut and they actually did cut my contract from full time to three days a week. So that was really stressful and it still is stressful. I'm still in like this sort of like situation I'm still trying to navigate and figure out I'm still very very grateful that I have a job it's not like they completely cut my contract and made me redundant it still is a lot it's a lot and I realized how sheltered I was back in Edinburgh anyways that is why I'm feeling like I'm in a little bit of a slum <laughs> one is tidy your environment. There has been so so many studies about the psychological impact of having a messy environment on your mind. There's also the saying of tidy house tidy mind and I completely stand behind this. Whenever I'm feeling stressed I clean and I tidy. If you see me completely randomly start cleaning something I'm probably a little bit stressed. <laughs> I just find that the actual act of cleaning really helps soothe my mind but also once I've completed tidying I feel accomplished, I feel like I've done something productive and I also feel like I have my life a little bit more together. If right now you're lying in bed and you have piles and piles of stuff around your bed or even on your bed next to you, I give you this as a sign <laughs> to get up and tidy it all away hang it up, put it wherever it needs to go, take the seven cups next to your bedside table and go put them in the sink and honestly you'll feel so good for it. And with this one, we are going on a little food shop trip. I feel like when your fridge is empty, you're more likely to get takeaway or eat junk food. So having a really healthy fridge and having your meals planned can really help with that. 
Today I wanted to share a little quick salad recipe that basically has every colour in the rainbow in it to hopefully inspire you to make something similar and this was super easy to make. I literally just went to the shop, bought a bunch of veggies and cut them up and popped some protein on top in a little salad dressing. Super simple but it was absolutely delicious. Also eating healthy meals can really really impact your mental health and whenever you're feeling like you're in a slump I highly highly recommend just googling or tiktoking a new recipe and that will kind of maybe motivate you to get up, get out of bed, go to the shop, pick up the ingredients you need and just make a hearty meal. Step three is exercise. Get up and move your body. I bet you were expecting this one. This comes as no surprise, I bet you. This one just makes sense. Whenever you're in a slump, get up, get out of bed. You do not have to wait for a new week, a new month, even a new day. You can literally do it right now. I'm the worst for this. I need to take my own advice, but I'm the worst for saying, it's okay, I will do it tomorrow. Or I need to wait until Monday to start. Like I'll do it on Monday. On Monday, I start exercising. Like it's not going to happen. You just have to get up and do it. Because on Monday, you're gonna say the same thing. Honestly, you'll feel so, so much better after it. Your brain will release dopamine, which in return will just make you happier. Today, I went for a little mixed session. It had some weight training and some cardio, and I made sure to go to the gym with a plan so that way I was in and out before I knew it. I even tried to kind of push myself out of my comfort zone a little bit and stepped into the weight section, which is normally just filled with men, so I'm very glad. I managed to do that. I will pop all the exercises I did on the screen so you can take a little screenshot if you wish to replicate my workout or alternatively if there's like one move that you found interesting then feel free to take inspiration. Step four would have to be self-care. For this one I would highly recommend you treat yourself to a little extra long everything shower, use all your favourite products and just really take your time. Today I decided to use a few of my new hair care products and they have honestly made my hair feel so soft, so voluptuous and it smells so good. I also did a few skincare steps and I even did some under eye masks but you could do a face mask, your nails, your toenails, put tan on if that's your thing. Truly there is so many ways but these are just a few of my favourites and I always feel so refreshed and so rejuvenated after a little bit of self care. And as my last step of the day I recommend journaling. The typical journaling method of sitting down with a piece of paper and a pen isn't for everyone but there is a lot of different ways you can do it. So I do highly believe that there is a way to positively express your emotions and your feelings through journaling. The three methods that I like to use are reflecting with journaling prompts, expressing gratitude, words of affirmation and as a little bonus one, as a little fourth one, planning. Here are a couple of journaling prompts if you choose to use this method. Best place for these kind of prompts is 100% Pinterest so if you are interested in any others then I highly recommend having a look on there. Expressing gratitude and positive affirmations kind of go hand in hand so I'm going to treat them as one. Here are also a couple of prompts for this method. And lastly the little bonus one which is planning. This could literally be goal planning, trip planning, holiday planning, it could even just be meal planning. It is a way to create something to look forward to so it kind of helps you get out of the slump, get to a little bit more motivated because you have something to look forward to. And those are my five steps on getting out of a slump. Having completed these, I do feel a lot more in content with myself. Please do let me know if you found these useful or alternatively, if there is something that you do that you would recommend for me, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll definitely be sure to incorporate it into my routine. As always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button because honestly, it gets me one step closer to making this my little job so you would honestly be helping a girl out. I of course have a brand new video coming out on Sunday so make sure you stay tuned for that and I will see you then. Bye!
Bye.